Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, the name is Shanae. If you like the vibes and the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So, literally just posted a vlog to the channel. In that vlog, I showed y'all some home decor updates and some new furniture that we got. I really don't know what's gonna be happening this week. I think we might get some new furniture. I don't know, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But, I wanna show y'all something really quick. Oh, first of all, how do you like my little plants? This is a Target pickup. It's by, what's that dude's name? Hilton Carter at Target. So I'm gonna put this in Malia's bathroom. I ordered a wooden shelf from Target. It should be here sometime this week, so you should see it as part of this vlog. And um, what I'm gonna do is right now, I have like a, wood, like a, what do you call it? A brown basket or something like that um, in her, bathroom on the toilet which holds the tissue and a candle but I want to take that candle out and put it up on a shelf with this do like a little cute picture above it all that good stuff so but I got something else to show y'all this little area over here was different I had the cutting board up the two books laid flat down and then that black vase on top of it and a black candle so this is something that another one of the plants that Focus by Hilton Carter that I got from Target. I'm gonna hide the tag for now, y'all, because y'all know I gotta let it marinate. But I think I like this arrangement a lot better. So you can still see like the little aesthetics of the book, and we just use you know the cutting board as a little thing. So I like this. I really like this. Then over here, I'm gonna get. I already have like a cream and black planter vase, which I'm about to show y'all. And I'm gonna order some wooden spoons or go by home goods and get them and put those right over there. And then this little section over here will be complete, honey, with our creams and our blacks and, you know, so on and so forth. So let me go show y'all the vase. Okay, y'all, so this little planter vase thingy I got, I got this from Target maybe a couple of years ago and it used to sit on our front porch at the other house and i was like oh my gosh i can use this inside of the house so i'm gonna take this and put it on the um kitchen counter and then fill it with wooden spoons hopefully it looks right if it doesn't then i'll end up buying like a faux plant or something and using it somewhere else in the house because it matches the decor so y'all just need to make sure that y'all are shopping your home because you can have plenty of stuff in your house that you could be using in other places in your house. So I've been very much shopping my entire home. Hello, good people. It is the next day. We got some Amazon stuff in, some Target stuff in, and I made a trip to Home Goods after my appointment yesterday. So I'm about to show y'all what we got going on downstairs. I made some updates to the mud room, to the kitchen, you know, different things like that. Order some stuff from the office. So I'm about to show y'all. Um, and we have a visitor today. Look at them legs. You see that? You wanna show the people what we got? Hmm? She like, no honey, I wanna eat. So, I'm about to flip y'all around and show y'all the stuff like around the house really quick. Okay, so I think yesterday, the day before, I showed y'all, this is the rearrangement that I made in the kitchen. So this is what it looks like. And then I showed y'all the planter from outside that I wanted to bring on the inside and put the wooden spoons in. Wow, we got it. I ordered this wooden spoon set thing off of um, Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but I'll link it below. But it kind of goes with that, the wood color over there. But it turned out to be really cute. So I think over here in this area, y'all, we are pretty much done, okay? I think that's cute. You got your creams, you got your blacks, you got your wood fills. And then over here in the butler's pantry, I picked up this, um, Little mini wine rack. I think I told y'all before that I wanted to do upper cabinets with a built-in wine rack at the top, but um, we're gonna just make do with what we got right now. So I got this wine rack. I think it was $14.99 from Home Goods, and I just stuck a bottle of wine in there to see what it looks like. And then this is one of the pictures that I got from Target. I was showing y'all the two smaller pictures. It might have been in my last vlog or this vlog, y'all. I can't remember. Losing my mind here, but oh baby. So FedEx, honey, I thought they were coming through. They delivered this one picture and not the other one. So the other one is still sitting at the FedEx location. 
I'm gonna have to call them. Okay, I'm back. I had to feed baby girl and put her down. So, like I was saying, FedEx only delivered one of the two pictures. I don't know why the other one is still sitting at the facility. But um, once we get both of these, um, I was thinking about having my husband hang both of these pictures up on this wall to kind of bring the black over here. And again, I showed y'all that black wine rack. And then I'll probably do something else over here to hold like the different liquors and stuff. But right now I just have it in this tray that I used to um, have at the old house for our coffee station. So that's what we've done so far over here. Um, the pantry, I haven't done anything in there y'all, but I do plan to do like this huge organization. Speaking of which, I bought some organize organizers or containers to actually go in there. So let me show y'all really quick. So these are the containers that I got. Are they cute? They're huge. This one has like a slight dent in it, but the top basically just pops off of it. And then it comes with chalk on the inside where you can write um, a label out there. These big things were $6.99. Like you see how big they are, you see my hand. So I bought a total of four of them. So I plan on putting like pasta in one, flour in another, and whatever else. And then on Amazon, they have these, um, clear containers with the wooden tops. I plan on getting some of those too, to organize um, the pantry, but that's coming like later on. And then um, this little book down here, I bought this to go in one of my daughter's rooms, probably the oldest one, cause hers is pink and mint. Um, but I thought that was really cute. That was only $14.99. Okay y'all, so the other thing that I got, so this is the flower that I showed y'all from Target the other day. This little pedestal thing I got from Home Goods for $12.99. So there's one on amarico.com that's like 40 or $45 that I was gonna order, but it's out of stock. So divine intervention, right? I found this one when I went to Home Goods and I'm so pleased with it. So I also ordered two um, custom um, soap dispensers. So one of them actually says hand soap, the other one says dish soap. So I'm gonna put these up on either side and I thought that it would be like a cute little addition to the little, the big island. I'm not gonna show y'all like an overview of it because it's 30 dishes right here in this sink. So it prevents you from having like these bottles out that are not aesthetically pleasing, right? So um, I'll put this or whatever dish, like dish, Dish washing liquid soap we use, I'll put it inside the container. But y'all, y'all should visit that website. I'll link it down below or in the video where I actually show them. But there are glass bottles with custom labels on there. And then I think the top that I chose was a matte black top, but you get to customize and choose all of that stuff. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. So this, in addition to the wooden stuff over here, I think it's coming together nicely. And then if I kind of look over there, like to the butler's pantry, y'all can kind of see where all of the black is flowing pretty well. And then over here in the coffee station, um, <clears throat> we got, you know, a little baby mama going right there. But I have just like the white tones over here. Even with the um, paper towel holder, I plan on getting either a black one or I seen one at Home Goods that had the silver holder, but the bottom of it was um, like this natural wood color. So I may um, do that. But <clears throat> as y'all can see, we do have like the natural woods. We have the darker woods and then whites, grays, creams. So um, all of it kind of like flows together. And I think it's coming together really nicely. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, so we got a few packages in the mail. Some from, sorry if I look sleepy y'all. Had to take me. A cat nap but we got some from amazon and some from target my middle child is supposed to be coming out here because she, she likes to unbox but i'm gonna show y'all what i got from amazon really quick you coming so like i told y'all the wooden spoons that i showed y'all over there in that little planter thing um those came from amazon it's i think it's some um, chinese company um but it's just called wooden kitchen utensil set. I'll link these down below. I think this, I mean, it was fairly inexpensive, like $20 or, or less. And then I also got me some glass straws. If you like iced coffee and stuff, which I actually may fix me some right now. Um, I actually had, show y'all, the, um, the metal or stainless steel straws, but 
after so long washing them, dishwashing, um, putting them in the dishwasher, they actually start to taste like rust. So I decided to, um, can y'all see this? I decided to get the glass ones and they're actually glass. So, and then they also come with the, um, I'm gonna leave this out because I'm about to make some iced coffee. Yeah, like a caffeine head. And then they also come with these little cleaner things, which the stainless steel ones also came with that. These were like $5.99 or $7.99, something like that. Not expensive at all. Um, and then I told y'all that I was gonna get, um, I got these little um, mason jars from Target or Kroger, one of the two. You can get these anywhere. Slight intermission. This is the um, iced coffee that, or cult, or whatever you want to call it, that I normally use. And I just started back drinking coffee and cabin caffeine, and now I have like a caffeine headache. I can't live for losing. And then I use this Don Dairy Creamer, almond milk and oat milk hazelnut latte. Y'all see that? I'm almost out. When I'm drinking, ooh, girl, we like legit almost out. Yum, yum, yum. So I think I told y'all one of the earlier vlogs, like way early, like when we were talking about the office and stuff, that I wanted to do um, a, what do you call it, record player in my office. Well, I finally bought one off of Amazon. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm gonna unbox it with y'all. Make sure my address ain't showing. Cause we ain't got time for no stalkers. Opening it, Maddie. I can't ever find the box cutter when I need it. So, I got a cognac color just because I feel like that was like a neutral type color that I could use in my office. They had like a mint color, they had a teal color, which y'all know those are colors that are in my office, but I don't wanna be married to that color. And I know that at some point I will eventually change my office because it's just how I am. Not anytime soon, but like, you know, in a couple years where you're just like, okay, I'm tired of staring at this bold color. All right, so I guess Madison Riley decided not to come. So this looks like through the bag i do like the color already it's giving me very much vintage vibes which is what i wanted this is really cute for anybody who's interested i will link this down below but let me just kind of show y'all this is what it looks like so it has like your cognac color so pretty i think this is the exact same color that the chairs are going to be that come that um I'm putting in the living room. The only thing I will say I would have liked is if the hardware was gold. Color like silver like that, especially like chrome. But let me give y'all a close up. So this is what she's looking like. Let's open her up. Oh, honey. Victrola. This is so cute. Honey, y'all getting all the dirty dishes in the bag. This is so cute. I have no clue how to use a record player. I'm just gonna go on record and say that. I literally got it for the aesthetics. Nothing more, nothing less, but it's cute. Maybe I actually will buy me some vinyls. Is that what you call them? Okay, y'all, so the last thing The last thing I got was this. Um, it's a shelf for the baby's bathroom. And honestly, it looks like the box is huge. So I hope that this is not how big this shelf is. It's not that big, but this is what it looks like. Can y'all see that? I think so, yeah. So it'll be something kind of like what's on here. So I'm gonna put this above her toilet and then I'll put the candle up here on this shelf along with something else. Probably like a cute bohemian type picture or something like that. So that's this. Um, I think that's everything that came in the mail. So I'm about to show y'all the mudroom area real quick. Okay, so here's the mudroom area. 
Y'all see that? And all of the updates. It just looks really cluttered. So what I did was I ordered from Target three black baskets that have like um, cognac colored handles. Those are gonna go under there so we can just throw the shoes on the inside but it looks aesthetically pleasing. These two pillows, again, I shot my own house. These two pillows used to be on the um, patio upstairs um, balcony at the old house. So these are actually outdoor pillows, but whatever, they go. And they actually match the planter that's in the kitchen um, that I used to put those wooden spoons in. These two baskets right here are the ones that I actually got to go as centerpieces over there. If y'all remember when I had those black chairs for like two seconds. So I decided to put them here and I got this flower stuff from home goods yesterday like it's so cute it's giving me everything that i needed y'all i don't know what you call this stuff it smells like real flowers i don't know if it's like dried out i don't know but it's got like a eucalyptus plant in here it's got this stuff i think it's really cute um something different than your typical pompous grass that everybody has and then in this one i'm gonna put a cream candle in it and then i got this little thing it's like a little soft thing um i don't know what's in it but it was 7.99 I think that arrangement was $12.99. But it says happiness is homemade. And I just agree with that. I think it's so cute. Um, obviously, I need to clean this up. All of that is like shedding from the plants. So <clears throat> I like that little setup. I feel like it's very homey. And it kind of adds some character to the mud room. And I also ordered some black hooks for us to put up here. Not that I plan on hanging anything. But I just feel like it's cute. And... When I looked on Pinterest, most people have hooks up there. Then for the up, upper um, little cubby holes, I got cream, the same baskets that I got below, but they're cream with the cognac candles. So once those come in, which I think they'll be here between today and Saturday, I will show y'all um, what the final look looks like. So the last thing I wanna show y'all for today, I don't know if it's just for this vlog, whatever. But I don't know if y'all remember this. This was sitting on the island. I think I'm going to use this as a centerpiece for the table the breakfast area table and put fresh flowers in here regularly if i can remember to get them i was going to do like a faux arrangement but i feel like oops excuse me over here in this natural light hey y'all ignore my table my kids these new age kids don't know how to clean up after they sell which is disrespectful so um with the natural lighting over here, I feel like it's only right if we do real flowers in this space. Hello there, good people. We've got a package in the mail, and I don't know what it is, but I think, I'm thinking that it might be my ball court. It's the only thing that I was actually expecting today, in addition to um, my baskets that are gonna go in the mud room that I showed you guys. So I'm gonna grab the packets really quickly so we can open it up and let's see what's inside. In a moment. It's quite heavy, so I think that's what it is. If it is, then we're gonna have some updates to the office today, fingers crossed. We're gonna move that shelf that I was telling you guys about. And we're gonna build this bad boy and add our, uh, um, what do you call it? Our record player that we opened up the other day. Let's give it a gander. Open it up and see what we've got. All right, guys, confirming it is the bar pot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpackage it and then we're going to put that bad boy together and get it stationed in its new home. All right, sound like a plan? See you guys in just one minute. Okay, loves, we have the um, bar cart up. Hopefully y'all can see that, honey. Hopefully that the light at night bed with the windows open. But anyways, so this bar cart came from Amazon. And then we got our cute little um, record player on there. Y'all, I have no clue how to work this, but it's okay. We're gonna get some, no, we're not. I'm not even gonna lie. This is just for display only. I'll take this off. Um, a little bit later, but I'm gonna get a plant to go right here. I actually gotta pick that up today, so maybe I'll include it in the vlog. Maybe I won't. And then these are the little champagne flutes that I got from Home Goods. Hopefully that is showing up well. And then this little empty bottle back here with some wine we got like a couple years ago. I just thought the bottle was so cute. And y'all know what I'm putting in it? Some tequila, period. 
And then that little wine glass back there, one of my sorority sisters made for me. And I thought that was so cute to add on the bar cart. And then I'm gonna go get me some wine. Let's put it right there in that section. So that's that. And then I told y'all that we were gonna move the shelf. So as y'all can see, the shelf used to be up against this wall. So my husband is currently filling in those holes and gonna paint over them. But um, now it's against this wall with the picture. So everything is aligned. I think I want maybe another small little plant over here or some color or something, but it's just it's very muted right now, okay? And then this little box down here just has some papers in it. I'll figure out where I wanna put that, but ignore my, let me just move the road, see I'll get the full effect. This is basically what the office is looking like. I think it's really cute. Giving me the vibes I want. And I will show y'all update probably in the next vlog when I actually get the plant to go over, plant to go over there. Okay, so we got the baskets in y'all. So these three baskets at the bottom, all the junk that was down there, I put them inside the basket and put those down there. So as y'all can see, they're not really black black. It's almost like an off black color, but it's fine because if you look at the pillows, these are kind of like an off black color too. So it works out and you got like the cognac color down there. Ooh, focus. And then if we go further up, we got the cream baskets, which I think are so cute. They don't fill up the space completely, but I feel like that makes it even more cute because you still get the full effect of like the little cubby holes and stuff up there. Wig update. It don't take me long, y'all. Went and picked this up from Target. I actually did a drive up pickup, but I think that's so cute, honey vibes, yes. And then, don't sleep on that California Roots wine from Tarjay, honey, $5 each. Love the sangria. Then we got a little bit of Pinot. And what is that? Tequila de, de Maestro do Bel Diamante. Diamante. My husband looked at me like I'm crazy. But I think it's cute. It's a little vintage vibe over here. It's like a whole mood. Smeared. Period. Pretty quickly before I close out this vlog, I want to show y'all. Make sure my background ain't. <laughs> But um, I don't know if I told y'all in a previous vlog, maybe in the closet organization one, but we got the pack system probably almost like a month ago. My husband's already built it out and everything. But that is gonna be a separate video where I give y'all a tour of my <laughs> pack system closet thingy. But long story short, I need to order a few more things to go on there before I can actually finalize that video. But I just went by home goods, take something back. And I got some cute little stuff. This cute little jewelry box was $7.99, y'all. Can y'all see the detail on that? It's like beads all at the top. And it has like a little storage. I don't know what I'm putting in here. Maybe like my delicate jewelries and stuff. And I also got one for my kids, but a bigger version. And then I got these little organizer things. These were $9.99 for a set of three trays. I'm planning on putting um, my makeup in this because I'm storing my makeup in the drawer, but y'all will see all of this as part of that video. And then I also got these little organizers. Container store who, honey, $7.99 for two of these. So that's it. Um, if y'all wanna see my closet tour video, make sure you're subscribed so that you can catch that video when it goes up. Um, other than that, I'm closing out this vlog because I don't really have no more updates for y'all. We get our two accent chairs tomorrow, so that'll be in next week's vlog. Um, oh, make sure if y'all are not subscribed to my channel that you subscribe to my channel, baby, because we are on the road to 1K, okay? And we can't do that if all y'all do is just watch my videos and y'all don't subscribe. Share the videos to your mama them and your cousin them and your auntie and them to subscribe to the channel too so we get these followers up. I know my, not my followers, subscribers up. We're at like 7, 12, 7, 13, something like that. So yeah, click that subscribe button, period. Anyways, I love y'all. Stay safe, stay blessed. Hope y'all enjoying the summer because we about to be lit over here. I think my boobs are leaking. Anyways, um, see y'all in the next video. Peace.